Good morning and happy Friday. I hope you're having a great morning. I hope you had an awesome week. We're closing out this week with today's Quest Bite. I'm your host, Corinne Cahill. Today we're learning how leaves breathe with a super fun and easy experiment you can try outside this weekend. But first, we're going to play Spot the Quapple. I will put 30 seconds on the clock. There are five quapples in this picture. The Quapple is our education logo in the bottom left corner of your screen. This way. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, if you're able to find it, let me know. About 15 seconds left. We will see who is all watching this morning and give people some time to try and find the Quapples. About 10 seconds. If you're able to find them, let me know. Five, four, three, two, one. Here's the answer. I know. Grabbing red leaves was kind of mean because the quapple is red, but I like to make it a little harder for you guys. So today we are going to be doing a fun experiment that will show us how leaves breathe. And what are you going to need for that? You need a glass bowl, some water, a large leaf, and a small rock. So first, you're going to fill your glass or plastic bowl with lukewarm water. You can try different amounts of water to see if that changes your results. Then you'll need to take a leaf from a tree or plant. You don't want to pick one off the ground because it has to be an active leaf for the project. Put your leaf in the bowl of water and put a small rock on top so that it is fully submerged in the water. Then you'll leave the bowl in a sunny spot and wait a few hours to let this process happen. So what's going to happen in the bowl? So if you were going to go underwater and let your breath out, you'd see bubbles, right? Well, that's exactly what this leaf is going to do. The leaf is still using the sunlight as part of the photosynthesis process, where leaves convert sunlight to energy. As a leaf creates that energy, it needs to get rid of the items it no longer needs. So it will release water and oxygen. And the oxygen is what is going to make those bubbles, just like when you go underwater. So does a leaf breathe like you and me? Well, no. A plant tree or leaf doesn't have lungs or a respiratory system, but it is a living organism just like us. We breathe in air with oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Plants take in that carbon dioxide and release oxygen. So we're giving back to one another. This experiment is helping you see the invisible breathing that leaves trees and plants do. So let's see what happens. As you can see, I did not have a great sunny spot because of the clouds overhead, but Something still happened. The process of photosynthesis. Ooh, the process of photosynthesis is what allows us to see the bubbles as the leaf releases extra oxygen while submerged. And of course, since oxygen is lighter than water, the bubbles will eventually rise to the top of the surface. So here is my pictures. All of those little white dots may be hard to see, but those are all bubbles that this leaf has released, and it wasn't even an hour into my project, but it was getting a little dark, so I wanted to make sure you saw what was happening here. I was pretty happy with these results. Clearly, my leaf is breathing, um, and all the, the bubbles on the side of the glass and on the leaf, it even is covering this rock a little bit, so that was pretty cool to see. So set this up this weekend and come back and check on it. I would recommend doing it earlier in the day so it has plenty of time in the sunlight. Maybe set it up right before lunch, go in and eat, and come back and check on it. Um, but it should show you how your leaf is breathing. So I hope you learned something today. We have put the instructions in the comments so you can try this lesson. Send us the pictures of your leaves breathing in the water. And I'm excited for you to try it. I hope you have a great weekend. Join us for Magic Mondays because we are going to be making instant hot ice. And yes, you heard that right, hot ice. So you'll want to join us Monday at 930 because that is going to be super fun. I also wanted to remind you and your parents that coming up at 1030 on our YouTube channel, we'll be going live for our first episode of Break It with Brandon. We 3D printed some tow hooks and we're going to see which can pull a truck. Hint, it wasn't that one. We will put the link in the comments so you can watch that too. It's going to be so much fun. And who doesn't like breaking things and seeing things break, especially on a Friday? What a perfect video for today. So 1030 on our YouTube page, break it with Brandon. Until next time, continue onward with your quest for knowledge. And thanks for watching.